got your football kit? No, I've got it. Well, it's a good thing I've got a memory then. Now there's no excuse. Don't want to try out for the team. Give it a go. For mine and your dad's sake. I don't like sports. Well, how would you even know? If you got out there and participated, you might actually have some friends, Martin. Right. Take up football. Run around a pitch a bit. You might get a nice six-pack on here. Come on. You're a nice-looking lad under that camouflage. If only you'd let the girls see it. Right. I love that song, guy. <laughs> I could go here. Yeah. <laughs> no, serious. Give me back my family. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, class. I swear, it was on the seat right beside me on the bus. You were reading underwear magazine in public. Who you I reckon that one could hit pivot for a lot of us. I mean, have you mm -hmm. seen the size of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that stuck on the page? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you all a favour? <laughs> Someone get me a wet wipe. <laughs> Curriculum vitae. It's essentially a sales pitch, except you're selling yourself. So accentuate the positives, but don't lie. You will get found out. How am I supposed to accentuate three Ds in a U? <laughs> Yeah, I agree it would help if you'd done some work in the first place, but it's always worth tailoring your CV for the job that you're applying for. So, big up your interests rather than your individual grades in your case. Does picking your nose count as an interest? <laughs> Martin, can you give me an example of an interest that might add to your chosen vocation? What do you do in your spare time? Hey, um... It tongues his eye, mainly, miss. <laughs> No way! Oh, he took it out of the bin. Oh, you naughty boy! How sad are you? If all you're interested in reading, then it's no wonder your grades are so bad. I don't think he was reading it, miss. <laughs> all right, that's enough. I was only looking, and it's none of your business. Are you coming with me? You lot, get on with your CVs. Come on, Eleanor, give the kid a break. It'll be embarrassed enough without you making a massive deal out of it. I'm not making a massive deal. I'm just saying the kid needs a ticking off. OK. OK, send him in. Keep it at home, mine. It's not worth the hassle. No, it's not even mine, I swear. Next time it's a strike, yeah? All this is just wishful thinking anyway. What do you mean? Well, most women don't actually look like that. Not in real life, anyway. Go on, off you go. You've got ten minutes before those football trials. Yeah, that's not a life skill I boast about, kid. I'm just trying to be a mate. Kid seems desperate. <laughs> I know it was just the way Kyle said it. You've pulled a muscle, have you? Which one? In my leg. That's not what I've heard. <laughs> Shut up, Sharky. I can't play football, Mr Clarkson. I can't run a swear. Right, well, if you can't participate in the trials, you'll have to stay in here and do some homework. Can't study in the common room. No, this isn't a free period, Martin. Right, you lot, on the pitch in five. Hey, 
We all enjoy a bit of light relief. Don't worry about it, mate. Yeah, Finn. <laughs> you more than most. Oh, boy. supposed to be there. It's the girls changing rooms. It's a violation of their privacy. There wasn't anyone changing. That is not the point. There could have been. I know that it's not easy being your age. There's all sorts of different emotions springing up. Not all of them welcome, but you're surrounded by people going through the same thing. Yeah, right. Or similar. Nobody's going through what I am. Well, why don't you tell me about it then? You won't understand. There's not a lot I haven't seen. And I was once a teenage boy myself, well, Just remember. shut up, will you? All right. Fine. But whatever it is that you're going through, you need to try and have a bit of respect for the girls. I do. And for yourself. Look, mine. if there's something that you want to tell me, you know you can, don't you? I'm gonna go now. It's just... You, you seem a bit unhappy. Just want to be left alone, OK? Well, let's get him involved in the careers fair. Take his mind off his hormones. I just can't help thinking that something's not quite right. He doesn't seem like the type of kid to be sex mad. <laughs> Tell me a teenage boy who isn't. Yeah, but he's withdrawn. He's antisocial and he's angry. Well, as I said, Chris, is there a teenage boy who isn't? What do you want? I just wanted to say sorry. I know I shouldn't have touched things, but I wouldn't ever perv over them like everyone said, I promise. So, what were you doing in the girls' locker room with my bra? I'm just sorry. That's all. Oh, nice hair. Very indie. Cheers. Do you like glamming up? Bit of varnish, eyeliner. It's a good look for a bloke. I'm serious. I don't have to tell you. You know the 80s are back. <laughs> have you tried leggings? Make my legs look a bit skinny. No. If you're wearing an oversized jumper, leggings are fab. Give you great definition. Would you like me to do your makeup? No. It's all right. Yeah. Have a look through there. You'll find a colour that suits you. You're near my girl again, you're getting it, OK? Finn! Stop it! I don't know why you're defending him, he's a little sicko! And he said he's sorry. Yeah, that's right, you turn the waterworks on your little girl. Yeah, cos you're so butch and manly. I'm dead jealous. Leave it. You so much as look at her again, you're gonna need to defend yourself, OK? Trying a bit too hard, mate. What do you mean? What, the magazine? Leering over Sam? All this macho stuff's just a big beard. We both need not into girls. You don't know a thing about me. I know you're gay. I'm not gay! How dare you stand there judging me like you've got it so hard? You're the big pro. You've got it easy. Flaming wish I was gay. Oh, steady. You like yourself, I can tell. And people like you. 
They know who you are. Nobody knows what I'm capable of. Nobody. Marty, inside, please. No more sneaking off. Just having some fresh air. I've signed you up for Miss Chowdhury's workshop. Should keep you busy. Even if you don't know what you want to do, you'll still need good interview skills. It's about instilling a sense of confidence in yourself and your prospective employer. Martin, I'm giving you my time. The least you can do is look at me. <laughs> Be quiet or move away from the stage. Right, let's try this again. You've put down the arts as one of your interests on your CV. Could you be more specific? Thanks photography, don't you, mate? <laughs> Good, OK. Martin, look at me. What kind of photography? Girls. I don't like photography. <laughs> what do you like, then? Cinema? Or theatre? Like sleazing on other people's girlfriends. Finn, he wasn't sleazing. Well, you caught him, be Sam. Be quiet! Martin, I asked you a question. I don't know. Well, how do you expect to get a job if you show no interest in anything, even the person you're talking to? I don't expect to get a job. Excuse me, speak up. I said I don't expect to get a job. I am a freak. <laughs> Cos somehow I got born a boy when I know deep down inside I'm not. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I'm a sick, sad freak of nature. And I hate myself more than any of you do. So don't waste your time. <laughs> now look what you've done. You idiot. Away. Look, I can see that I got things totally wrong with you earlier today. I'm sorry, I didn't know. All right. And now you do, it's all OK. No. No, clearly it's not. But perhaps it could be if you talked about it. It's going to take a bit more than talking to fix me. Have you told your mum and dad how you feel? They just hate me even more. They're always going on at me to be more of a lad. It's just, you know, things seem insurmountable when you keep them to yourself. No chance of that anymore. Kids can be cruel. You know that yourself. Well, you sort of managed the first hurdle by... coming out. Coming out? I'm not out. I don't even know where I am, except trapped inside this flaming body that I can't stand, pretending to be exactly what I hate. I can arrange for you to talk to somebody professional. What's the point? What's the point in any of it? Martin, I just wish it was dead. <laughs> Oi, watch it, fringe boy. What do you want? To say I'm sorry about Finn, about what happened. Right, you've said it now. Go back to school. Janice is phoning his mum. Good. I knew something was wrong. Come and have a look at these. These are a few signs that a child has gender identity disorder. Poor self-image, 
reluctance to do games, gets bullied, poor educational performance, depression, self-harm and suicide attempts. Are you stalking me or something? Makes a change from you stalking me, doesn't it? Why are you here, Sam Luke? Bit of space. So what are you doing in mine? If you can't do your eyeliner straight, I wouldn't bother. You're gonna end up looking like some crazy old lady. Go for it. That freak was sat there putting makeup on. When it's done now, it's just sod off back to your mates and have a laugh. What if I don't want to go back? Come in. Go. Oh, oh, sit no. still. You can't go out looking like that. Mm. Who says I'm going anywhere? Well, you're getting dolled up for something. Let's see. Oh. I've done my own makeup before. Plenty. Well, you've done it wrong then. You're blind as well as messed up. It's better to go subtle. You're a teenager, not a middle-aged slapper. I'm sure Martin will come back once he's cooled off, but we did think you need to be alerted about his state of mind. He seems very isolated, Mrs Dunbar. He's shy. He likes his own company. See, I don't think he does. In fact, I think there's a great deal of self-loathing going on here. It's me. I've been on his case to make more of an effort, you know, get us stuck in. I just want him to be a normal, happy boy. Mrs Dunbar, he's saying that he isn't a boy. What do you mean? Not a boy? He's got some um, conflicts with his gender identity. You must have noticed something different about him when he was little, for instance. All kids experiment. We think he should be able to talk to somebody in confidence. Somebody who specialises in this area. What? The area of being some sort of transvestite? Is that what you're talking about? Transgender is more like... Chris! Me. What is that? Martin was very upset when he ran off. I heard what he said in the assembly hall. He said it at some cost to himself and he wasn't joking. Being trapped in the wrong body it must be a nightmare, but th th there are solutions. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We just wanted to let you know what was happening. You might not want to deal with this, Mrs Dunbar, but for the sake of your son, you need to. Sam will be with Amy and Lauren at the beauty stand, mate. She wasn't when I checked. I don't think she's talking to me. What, because fringe boy's a lady boy? Do you even know what a lady boy is? There you do, Wendy. I feel bad, though. We seem well upset. Yeah, well, wouldn't you? Coming out to the whole school, you're a tranny. <laughs> he's not a tranny, he's... Yeah, well, whatever he is, he doesn't seem too happy about it, does he? Good yes, Sam. How do you know you're not a boy? We always knew, I think. It just took me 16 years of hell to finally admit it. I can't carry on like this. And I can't hide anymore. It's not like anyone had missed me. What, so you're going to top yourself? Why not? Because that's a cop-out. Because some people actually want to live. Yeah. We'll let them. They don't have the choice, Martin. You think I had any choice in this when I was born? Could have the change, you know? Hormones and all that. Yeah. Hi, Mum. Gonna lend us 15 grand to surgically remove my penis? Oh, and from now on, you'll have to call me Martina. But you don't know how lucky you are, Martin. You have a future. I don't want a future. Not like this. You're a coward. You know, you, you could speak to your Mum. You could make her listen. I wish that's all I had to worry about. What is your problem? What have you got to worry about? Oh, what is it? Boyfriend trouble? Your mum don't understand you. I've got cancer. Of 
got a brain tumour. Shouldn't you be in hospital? Yeah, that's what I'll be if I go back. That's where you'll end up if you don't. I don't even know where to go. Maybe I should talk myself too. Get it over with. Do you reckon it's deep enough? So what's the deal? You can't have an operation. Chemotherapy? I don't know. My mum wants a second opinion, but... I don't even want to know. Now, who's being a coward? Would you want to swap? I don't really think you're a coward. And it must really suck feeling how you do. It's just to throw it all away when you've got the choice. Maybe we've both got choices. Yeah. So, I might take this off before I go back. One step at a time, yeah? Poor kid. I know, nightmare. I know, like, top ten things I wish I hadn't have said in front of the whole school. It's always the quiet ones. He was so nice and soft-spoken. Who'd have thought he had the whole family in the freezer? <laughs> Sorry, how did a mixed-up kid turn into a serial killer? I bet Fred West was a mixed-up kid at one point. You're out of order, mate. It's a joke. Here we go. I've printed off some information from the website that I found. I think it's very useful. Plus, we've got a really good centre that we've used before when our pupils have had problems. The counsellors there are great. I need some time to think about this. OK. OK, turn up. Martin! Mum. I need to talk to you. I'll leave you alone for a bit. You found them both? Uh, they found each other, actually. Sam, thank you. I'll go and update Mrs. Fisher. Your mum's been frantic. Tell me what happened this morning. I just wanted one more day where I could be normal, Tom. Take you on. I knew it, even when I was a kid. Remember? I wanted to grow my hair long, but you wouldn't let me in. I always dressed up. I shouldn't have let you spend so much time with those girls upstairs. But it wasn't them. It was me. You can't just explain it away. I'm sure about this. I've always been sure. And it's killing me. So what are you saying, Martin? I need to be me. What I am inside. I need to change. I don't want you to change. You... You're my son. My little boy. I, I'd miss you. I'm so unhappy. I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> Okay. Oh. I need to get my head around this. Okay. Look. Why don't we just go home? And we can talk about it there, yeah? 